How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we are going to be taking a look at which one of these mods provides the best price for Lime. Now we've been looking at Lime over on our precision farming videos and seeing how it affects your yield based on how many times you skip harvests and in each soil type and we realized that it doesn't always make the most sense financially to lime after every harvest sometimes you need to skip a few harvests before it actually makes financial sense but what if we could get lime cheaper well that's that's the goal here today is to find out which one of these placeable mods is the cheapest and we also have a pallet pack right here too so what we're going to do is first take a look here at base game so this is the pallet that you're going to be able to get from the store and it costs 450 dollars and it's only 2,000 liters a lime so that equals out to 225 dollars per thousand liters we're going to do the exact same thing all the way through each one of these we're going to divide all of these out and give you a value per 1,000 liters. And I want to take a look at these in the order of popularity. So we did a survey on the community tab on the channel, and we had almost 300 people actually vote, say which one they like to use all the time. Not which one was the cheapest, but which one do they use. So based on that, we realized that this replenishment container here actually came in as a uh, underdog. We didn't have this listed as one of the options, but a lot of people said, hey, I use the replenishment container, and this is by Sphinx, and a lot of people highly, highly recommend this. Even DJ Goham, he actually called this out today in a video that he did. So I want to give this one a go. So what we're going to do is take this nice brown case right here. We've got the bread all um, spreader right here. It's a 9,000 liter capacity. So what we're going to do is hop in here and we're going to pull right up next to it and we're going to fill it. And then we are going to see how much it costs for 9,000 liters. All right. So right here, boom, we're going to put lime into it. All right, here we go. So we are going to write this value down and then divide that out by nine. Cause that's going to give us, you know, how much per thousand liters. So I'm waiting to see how much it's going to be up there in the top right hand corner. So as you guys could see, that's only $202 for 9,000 liters of lime. That equals $22.44. $22 per thousand. That's a lot cheaper than that over there. I mean, that's like 10 times cheaper, right? Over 10 times cheaper. All right, let's move on to the next one here. The next one that I want to take a look at here is the MF Shed Pack by Alien Jim. Now, this was originally put on Mercury Farms, and he turned it into a placeable. So let's go ahead and hop in here, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We are going to fill up this entire trailer and then see how much the value is and divide it by 9, because that's going to give us the exact same comparison. So here we go. We're going to put lime straight in. There we go. So this one fills a little bit faster. So if that's something for you, um, that's a concern or something you have to have. This one definitely, definitely fills a lot faster than that uh, replenishment container over there. All right, so as you can see, that was $1,619 for 9,000 liters of lime here. A little bit more expensive. That comes out to $179.89. So about $180. If you're going for, you know, style and you want to keep it authentic to a European style map, I think this is going to be your best one, but that's not a really, really good price. So it doesn't really work for what we're wanting to do here. The next most popular option here is the Lizard Palette Pack. This is by Quiet Hitman. And this is a really, really interesting. It's not a silo. You actually go into the catalog and purchase this from the palette menu. And you can get this one here. It's uh, $50 more. So this, as you see it right here, is $800 dollars and that's for um 4200 liters of lime but you can also get it with no wrapping around the outside for 750 dollars for 4200 liters so that's what i did and that comes out to 178 dollars and 57 cents so still not as cheap as the replenishment container that replenishment container right there, that is a super, super cheap mod. Um, not the mod, but the, the product coming out of that mod. I don't know if we're going to get any others that are that close. But we have two left. Let's go ahead and take a look. 
So this one here is the multi silo shop. This is by CNS modding and Anne Marie. Now it's got some really, really phenomenal prices. What you're going to be able to get out of here is actually seed, lime and fertilizer. So we're going to go ahead and hop in the nice tractor here. We're going to back up and do the exact same test. We're going to fill this up with 9,000 liters and take a look at the price. So lime right here. There we go. This one fills very, very fast. Wow. Did you guys see that? I, it was so fast. I, I, I barely missed or I almost missed it. Um, $101 for 9,000 liters. That comes out to $11.22 per thousand liters. That's half the price of that repli of the replenishment container. And I thought that was a killer price. What we want to look at now is the number one most popular, according to the poll that we put out, mod to be able to get your lime. And that right here is going to be the multi-filling station. This is by Edge Gaming. And we had almost 41% of the votes for this one right here. Very, very popular. You can get a lot of stuff out of here. So I understand why it is so popular. But is it the best price? Let's find out. So we're going to hop in here again, gonna pull forward, and see. Here we go, filling it up with lime. This one is very, very fast also. Wow. That is expensive. So for 9,000 liters, um, it's going to be $2,227. That equals $247.44 per, per thousand liters. That is expensive. That's the most expensive one. That is even more expensive than base game. For convenience, I feel like this one is great. Um, if you've got a lot of different stuff that you're pulling out of here, maybe, sure. But if you're looking for the absolute best price, bar none, for lime, this is the winner right here. This is the Multi Silo Shop by CNS Modding and Anne Marie. Absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal price here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a chart up here, and this is all the different prices. So this is per 1,000 liters, every single one of these right here. And as you can see, the very top, Multi Silo Shop, and the very bottom is going to be the Multi Filling Station. Kind of stinks at the Multi Filling Station because it's the most popular right now. I don't think people realize how expensive it is to be able to get products out of there. Um, it is quite a substantial markup. So the next slide here is going to tie back into the precision farming aspect of this video. And what it shows is the lime every harvest for wheat and the skip lime one harvest for wheat. And what you can see is the cost of lime, if you're using the multi silo shop, is now just going to be $10 per acre on loam and silty clay and five dollars on sandy loam and loamy sand now this is after one harvest only all right so if you skip over to the next one you can see that it doubles it's now twenty dollars and ten dollars respectively so does it make sense well if you skip a harvest with your lime it's going to cost you on average twenty nine dollars and it only would have cost you ten dollars to lime the field to me that's a really, really good deal, right? You just line it every time. Now, you are going to pay for a worker if you hire workers, and you're going to pay for fuel. Okay, totally understand that. But this is on average pricing. If you can get more out of this than that worker and the fuel cost, they balance out, and they get a smaller percentage of that loss, right? So I feel like on loam and silty clay, you're not going to be able to have a problem making your money back if you're using the multi-silo shop or the replenishment container because that's only $22.44 per thousand liters, which only makes this $20 per acre that it's going to cost you for your lime. So you can see that it's going to be a break even over on the other. And if you're looking at your sandy loam and your loamy sand, I mean, it's five bucks. At the worst, it's $10, right? If you use the replenishment container and you're going to lose $12 and $9. Now I know it says no here, but it's $9. That's an average price you're most times going to be able to get more out of this. I honestly feel like you need to lime every single harvest if you are able to use the multi-silo shop or the replenishment container. 
Definitely, definitely lime every single time. Um, unless you realize that your fuel costs are high because you're using this really small implement or you have a worker, something like that. Or if you're playing on, you know, maybe hard economy. All of these settings right here, all these values that you're looking at are on normal economy. So if you're on hard economy, take a good look at how much your value is of your crop. You can see up there in the left-hand corner, I've got 618 for wheat right now. That's average. And if you're playing on easy economy, absolutely go right on ahead. Um, you should not have a problem at all with applying lime every single time. Now, if you wait three harvests, you're not saving anything. You're actually losing money that way because you're just losing yield every single time that you don't apply lime if you can get it this cheap. So definitely, if you're using the multi silo shop or the replenishment container, you need the lime every single time. And that's that's the findings of this whole series that we did here. Um, I took, know it took a while to get to the end of it, but there was a lot of data here that I really, really wanted to look at because I know not everyone uses mods. You know, some people like to play base game or they don't want to have to worry about these other mods because they take up space and they would rather have the equipment instead of these mods like this. So if you are using either of those two mods, the multi silo shop or the replenishment container, lime every time or you're losing money on your crops. Um, and if you're not, then wait. I mean, if you're using the MF Shed Pack or you're using the Lizard Pallet Pack, you're going to save a little bit of money on product, but it's not enough that you can lime every single time. Now, you might be able to bring it ahead one one harvest here based on the data that I'm showing, um, but if you're using the uh, multi-filling station, I would definitely reconsider using that for lime. I'm not saying use consider for everything. It does have its value, but if you're using it for lime, I would highly, highly reconsider using that if you're trying to make a profitable farm running on a normal economy. If you're on easy economy, it might be possible, but that's a whole other set of data that I have not looked at yet. So I recommend um, maybe picking up another mod for your lime. So that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest precision farming or anything else that I do here, we do lots of different stuff. Um, think about hitting that uh, subscribe button. And if you do, don't forget to hit the notification bell too. And just announced last week, we also have memberships. That's right. You can become a part of Driver's Crew. There's a few extra bonus perks that you get by being in that. Go ahead, hit the join button over there. Take a look and see what they are. If you're interested, We'd be more than glad to have you. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.